and you're looking at a when we're looking at an area um how do you decide uh or how do you find out what kind of projected demand there is for a particular property to be a short-term rental yeah fantastic question and crucial question right if we don't underwrite a property right it's 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 not a good situation so luckily now years later you know after short-term rentals become much much more popular there are tons of data sources out there that we can use to make our projections so of course historical performance is never a uh you know it's never a sure thing going forward but it gives us a pretty good idea uh, and so there's a couple sources software programs that are designed just to do this one comes to mind or maybe one of the most popular ones is called airdna.co and this is exactly what they do jay they just pull stats and data and performance from short-term rentals so they have millions of short-term rentals on their platform you can pull a report by uh, zip code uh, you can pull a report by a city so you can see it on a nationwide basis but one of the things we got to be careful with with short-term rentals is that it really comes down to the management and